Let's look at this drawing here. Third one. We're having the body there. We've got a front view. We've got a left view and we've got a top view. The question will say a full sectional front view. And then basically everything on the front view will be sectioned. Right. So judging by this, I can see already that I'm having a roller there. I'm having a bush there. There should be two bushes. Normally when you have a roller or a pulley, you'll have two bushes going in on the side. In most cases. So what can I see here? Right. Since I'm working on the front view there, I'm having a distance from this point to there is 50, 153 plus 15 plus 22. That will give me 168, and we add a 2 there, that's 170, 190. We're having a bolt of 220, uh, 206 minus 12. So the distance from there to there, if you take away 12 there, will be 194. So yes, if we take this roller, and we have 141 and we also have a nut that is M16 that these two fits together so now let's first go look at our holes I'm having a hole of 24 there and then it reduces to 16 that's it we also have holes there and there but in this case it's not needed but I can see we've got the 16 let's go for a 16 um, we've got uh, that's another hole, so we still need to go look at the shafts. We got 24, and let's go look at our shafts that we got. There's our shaft. We're having a 16 millimeter diameter. Beautiful. Our 16 will fit in there, and then go through there. Okay. And then we're having. Uh, an expansion of 24 and there we can see the 24 is there so this whole bolt will fit in there and stick out on the other side right based on the distance you need to calculate these lengths and see how far that bolt will stick out on the other side then we've got 24 there and then going to the right we also have a 24 and a 16 so the 24 will fit in there this part will fit in there and the same part will fit on the other side so take that arrangement and you put it there in the center with the bolt going through and the washer at the back then the assembly is done so very easy very simple you look at your holes then you look at the corresponding shafts and if there's any holes left you go look at the shaft and then the hole in the shaft and then you get your thing assembled Another example, let's look at this example, we've got a base bracket with a flywheel and a securing pin. Okay, there's the pin, which is basically more or less a threaded shaft. Okay, and there's our bracket. We've got diameters of M5 by 0 0.8. We also have a diameter here of 12 millimeters. In diameter so what do we have and we've got a hole and we that's all holes and here's another hole we've got a check nicely I an eight millimeter hole is there so let's go look at our shafts now we've got an M8 we've got an M12 so that's beautiful there's our 12 and there's our 8 the pulley will move in there and then that part will move in there and uh, that's the front view so normally they will ask you for a full sectional front so our pulley will move up and sit there with our shaft coming through and the pulley will sit right there with the eight millimeter shaft sticking out and uh, this face here will sit right there with that shaft going through inside the material there once you cut it through you'll be able to see what's happening on the inside so basically again look at the hole find the shaft look at the hole find the shaft and that's basically 
what's happening. Next one. Simple. Hole and hole. We've got 16 millimeters. Let's go to the next one. We've got a hole here at the back. And is there a size given? Sometimes if the size is not given, you don't have to worry. Or if something needs to fit in there, you're going to need to find out what's the size. I can see here that the size here is 16 millimeters. And then uh, the size there is 20 millimeters. So we're having two of these. Number one, this is the left connector. Number two is the right connector. With a hole going in at the back of 16. And a hole going through of 16. And there's two of them there. And 16 as well there. And there's two of them. And then we have a hole at the back. So it's obvious. Uh, if you have two of these 16 millimeter holes. So we've just been discussing holes. Where's the shafts? Okay. Let's go look at the shaft. There we have the bolt, it's an M16. Beautiful. And our nut is also M16, and two of these are required. So this bolt will go through the 16 millimeter there and that 16 millimeter and bind them together. This will fit exactly in the center. As you can see, this part there, that's the front, this, yeah, the front view. This part is also the front, so you'll take that whole part and put it on there. And then this bolt and nut will go through from the top and it will be duplicated at the back. Of course, they could have added more parts uh, by putting a screw of 20 millimeters with a washer and a lock nut and the same on the side. But it, it was not needed because uh, these, are, these are linkages that's just given like that. But if I had to use these linkages, You'd have had a bolt and nut going in there and another component connected to it to be able to swivel on these two pivots there. So there we go. That's all we have and thank you very much.